I'm a I'm a three striker. I got convicted for three separate uh, uh, residential burglaries, two from when I was 18 and one in '97. There's a lot of stuff just kind of laying around, remnants and stuff like that from when they do bigger processes. So instead of throwing it out, you know, they might have a quarter of a gallon, it's one color or a gallon of another left. So I just scrape it up wherever I can. The uh, guy from Arts and Corrections here just donated what he can to, but he's on a pretty limited budget. It keeps people occupied. And when people are occupied in prison, they have a reason to behave and a reason to program. And the more you remove the programs that give them the reason to behave, the uh, less uh, prisons could run smoothly, I guess. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing art on the yard for inmates for quite a while. I do a lot of portraits and stuff like that. Uh, uh, special occasion cards, dr uh, fantasy drawing, stuff like that. And they wanted their uh, recreation box just kind of fixed up a little bit because it was looking pretty beat up. So uh, got together with a couple people and got it done. Have to uh, have to make sure that it's not going to really offend anybody because there's a lot of a lot of different uh, factions and races and uh, all that here. So you have to make sure that everybody's going to be happy with it, or at least not be too offended. Well, it's kind of a privilege to do it actually because uh, due to recent state cuts, our uh, budget for our arts and corrections program has been real drastically diminished. So. Uh, a lot of times inmates don't get opportunities to do stuff like painting anymore, so it's kind of cool to be able to do it and learn it a little bit. A lot of these people have uh, uh, families serving over in the Gulf, or they have uh, friends, so a lot of the war stuff around here is kind of a tribute to the troops over there. Not necessarily to the politics, but more just to the people over there uh, uh, representing us, so that's kind of what that's all about. One of the captains here had a silver dollar that was silk screened with the image of the World Trade Center on the back of it. And we kind of, from there, just kind of started adding ideas to it. Uh, tried to represent as many of the facts of it as I could. Uh, it's got the times of each tower crashing on it. And the numbers in yellow and black are loose representations of because there's not actually a very confirmed count for the dead, it kind of varies. But uh, the numbers up top are the planes that hit each building. They're next to their prospective buildings with the flight numbers. Uh, down by the Pentagon, the flight above that's the one, 77 is the one that hit it. The very lowest one with the 44 is the one that hit the Pennsylvania field. And the number where the remainder of the towers are down there, that's the. Uh, total number dead, I think including the police and fire and transit authority. So I do a lot of fantasy art, a lot of, uh, yeah, kind of like uh, uh, fantasy, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. A uh, little bit of painting. Usually I do a lot of ink and colored pencil, though, in the cell. That's basically what you have to work with. So.